when she found out she was pregnant. It's quite funny. I was sat on the toilet and I kind of went, Nathan, and he was like, what? But the way she shared it, like, something happened, so there's me coming <laughs> running in. I found myself a really nice seat. What? I found myself a really nice seat. I can't hear you. It feels a bit wet, though, this seat. I hope no one's water's broke on it. Yeah. Oh, shit. What did she say to do with my pee? Uh, don't bring that out here. What did she say to do with it? I don't know. I'm not afraid to say I'm a bit immature. Yeah. I reckon it's a good thing sometimes in some situations because you can lighten the mood. Leave it on the side or something. Don't bring it in here. I've, I think I've got to. Oh, don't bring it near me. Me and Nathan met on a dating website. You've got your typical people on there which are just like, hi, beautiful, hi, this, hi, that, hi, this. When, and then Nathan's message company was just like, what's your three top favourite films? Should I just leave it in here? Yeah, just leave it in there. Probably stinks. I think I said Finding Nemo. I do like Disney films. If I had to go for a poo, could you hear it? There's another door as well, people walking past. <laughs> <laughs> We're all a bit superstitious and, like, have our favourite rooms. So, low-risk women come here, high-risk women go to delivery suite. Simple as that. I look after the student midwives that come through. We've got masses of them because we're such a big hospital. We've got two theatres, so this is the emergency one and that's the elective one. I get told a lot that I look young for my age. Like, if I go out with my friends that are younger than me, I'll be the one that they're like, oh, ID, and I'll be like, he's younger than me, and they'll laugh, and oh, no, I want to see he is. But, yeah, at work, people are always trying to work out how old I am. This is recovery. This is where the emergency stuff is kept. Do ask questions as we go around. My favourite thing used to be when I was up on the ward. The biggest thing we use this for is suturing. And someone would ask to speak to the senior midwife or the midwife in charge. My chubby little cheeks would pop around the curtain and be like, Hi, I'm the midwife in charge. And then we'd be like, Oh, God. <laughs> Emily. Hello. Hi, my name's Sarah. What do you like to be called? Emily. Good. Not a trick question. Call me Princess. <laughs> <Joking>. <laughs> are, you a, are you a midwife then? Yeah. Well, you seem really young. It's hmm. my chubby cheeks that give me away. I don't <laughs> want to ask how old you are, but yes. like, not like, seem really young, yourself. but I mean, like. Hmm. I don't know, how many years does it take to train to be a midwife? Three. So, what's so I did A-levels and then went to uni. You're going to have to guess my age now. You can't ask and then not guess. I don't know, I reckon you're about... 26. Bang on. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> you living together yet? No, not yet. Not yet? You're not living no, together? we live like, together in the oh, same house. We live with mum, mom. like us to... So it's your, you live at your mum's? Yeah. When I asked my mum first, I said to her, what? Can Emily move in? She says, well, she's already here 24-7 anyway, so she might as well. <laughs> Were you hee-heeing it? Because I've got headphones. Whee! Oh, you're not using them to watch the football, Will? I am. Oh, I want to watch it as well, mate. I keep telling you this. You can't. I can. You're not allowed. I am. It's against the policy. No. When she first moved in, she bought all her, all her makeup stuff. She took about half of my wardrobe, then she took my little space where I have my aftershave and all, all that stuff, which was hers then. Is this mackerel cheese or fish? I was like, oh, it's on. Not fish. What? It's on. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. And then you have to compromise on what you watch on telly and... Can you come and sit with me? Can't you come and sit here? Even though it was difficult at the start with all the moving stuff and compromising on where stuff goes, there's a little bit of arguments here and there, but we've sorted out really. Summy? Yeah, in a spoon. I don't know what crumble is, but it just says crumble. So I thought, yeah, that'll do. Nathan likes crumble. Nice. Pucker? It's good. I feel drunk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, having children, yeah, it's probably always been on the cards, but I don't think it would have happened this early. Life just comes and 
But she won the bum whenever, doesn't it, really? Yeah. <laughs> Take your finger out your mouth while you're doing it. You can take a picture of me like this if you like. <laughs> Ella, I'll pose. <laughs> when she found out she was pregnant, it's quite funny. I was sat on the toilet and I kind of went, Nathan, and he was like, what? But the way she shared with it, like, something happened, so there's me coming oh. running in. <laughs> I just kind of give it him and went, look at this. And he was like, he was like, what does this mean? And I said, I don't know. <laughs> My waters have just come out, I think. That showed me. It was just so surreal, wasn't it, really? Yeah, cos I think, in particular me, I've got a lot growing up to do. Oh. I was looking up how you can find out what the gender is before it's here. Well done. And they say to, if you wee in a cup or something, then put bicarbonate soda in. And if it fizzes, it's going to be a boy. And if it doesn't fizz, it's a girl. And it, it fizzed, didn't it? Yeah. If you go back on the bed, and I will examine you and... Um... Oh. Do you want this chair? Well done. But then reading the post further down is like a bit of a myth, but it's an old wives' tale. But it worked, didn't it? It did work. Oh, my God. Come on, it's not that bad. I think I'm going to need stronger pain relief. I really do, cos I'm just about coping with this. Sometimes you can't get around the fact that there's actually a person growing inside you. It's weird, isn't it? Mm. It is I really, think that's really the craziest thing. There's just like a layer of skin just stopping us from touching each other. I'm struggling. I've tried. I've tried. You might have tried that much. I've tried it for about an hour and a half. I have. An hour and a half. Once you go on the Sinto drip, it's going to get stronger and more painful. Um, so we do advise you to have epidural. I really didn't want to have one, but I thought that my contractions were good, but if they're going to get worse. He's actually going to be here in the living flesh, which is quite scary because once he's here, you can't give him back. <laughs> so at the moment, your baby's trying to get around like almost a U-bend in your pelvis, but there's going to be lots of forwards and then back. So between those contractions, babe's going to slip back a bit. It's like a little seesaw. Yep, it's all good. Well done, babe. You're doing beautifully. I'm not going to tell you when or how to do it because you're doing so well already. I don't know whether I can watch. Well, like when I'll stay at the top end, I think. Well, I might take a look when when the, when the head's crowning. I don't something. want you to look. Your mum said it's like a car crash. You just can't unsee <laughs> it. I think I am quite scared of the birth. You've got to listen for like that first cry. I think that's going to be the most nerve-wracking few seconds ever. Beautifully, that's better. Come on, better. come on, that's come on. Keep going, em. As soon as you hear that cry, then you know everything's okay. Congratulations, it's lovely. Yeah, he's lovely. Give him a good old rub. He'll do a big old scream in a sec. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. Right, it's not just the two of us anymore. There's now three people to think about. Then that would be a bit of a shock. Like, we can't have, like, a line in the morning. It's, <laughs> if there's someone crying, we've got to wake up. I know it's going to change my fatherhood. Yeah. I'm going to have to be more mature about things and not be so silly. It's going to be a big step in our life, but it's another chapter that we have to live with. And um, when we do, go out to Nando's, we'll have a third one, or when we do go out to shopping, we'll have our son to take with us. Oh, oh, baby! Mm.